UNHCR is the UN refugee agency tasked with providing protection, assistance, and seeking solutions for refugees and asylum seekers. With over 20,000 refugees and asylum seekers from 36 different countries, UNHCR in Trinidad and Tobago has empowered community outreach mobilizers and given them the task of facilitating their work within the refugee and asylum seeker community. As the communication channel between UNHCR officials and the refugee community they serve, comms are indispensable in the UNHCR's effort to alleviate problems faced when seeking refuge and adapting to life in a new environment. My name is Gulmaro Jardines Bauta, I'm Cubano. I've been living here for six years in Trinidad with my family. And with the purpose of facilitating the situation of the migrants who are coming through different ways, para que tengan una rápida atención a través de Living Water o la NUR directamente. También eh, soy cristiano, soy pastor, llevo 26 años en el Evangelio y tenemos una iglesia latina acá en Trinidad y Tobago. Um, my name is Austin Okeke from Nigeria. I am a member of camps of UNHCR. I'm a musician, I sing, play guitar and I produce music as well. My life was um, very, very... Um, I would say complicated. We, Nigeria is a, is a, a country that is, that is in constant battle between Christians and the Muslims and uh, um, I wasn't allowed to express myself the way I would love to express myself as a Christian. Um, when I came I had nobody, no family, no friend. I don't have anybody here to, to say, well, I'm going to your house or I, can, I don't have food tonight, I can come to you and eat. I had not, nothing like that. Sometimes I was starving. By the time I was going through a tough time with immigration, you know, they wanted to send me back. They wanted to, but they were not understanding my story. I would let, I was trying to let them know that I could die when I go back. It's a, it's a, very, it's a life, uh, life of the situation. But they were not understanding it. And their friend told me that UNHCR gives protection. So when I went there and I, I told them my story, I told them how my life would be in danger, and I told them everything, you know, surrounding my story. And uh, they found me fit, you know, to, to be an asylum seeker in Trinidad. Being a calm is, is actually having the heart for people, especially people who are vulnerable, people who are suffering and going through situations. You know, you have to be able to empathize, you have to be able to put yourself in their position. You must be willing to help these people. Personas, mujeres con niños, maltratadas, sacadas de, de, de lugares, tremendo. Y si entonces uno llaman a veces a una a las 2 de la mañana, a las 3 de la mañana, eh, tenemos esta situación y uno tiene que salir a veces caminando porque aquí es difícil salir en la tarde. Y es bien, bien, bien drástico. A veces se hace un poco difícil hablar de, de la situación que nosotros atravesamos porque la vivimos en carne propia, como decimos los cubanos. The community outreach mobilizers, really, they are in the community all of the time. So they're there face to face with refugees every day when maybe we're not. So they're able to tell us when there's issues popping up or different trends or concerns that are facing the refugee community. And we're able to learn about that in real time. When we want to get information, we always contact him or any information we want to know, he sent it to the uh, was that group for me to know what is going on. Yes. Yeah, it's important because uh, some of us, if not that, we're not getting no information or we don't know anything concerning what is going on or what is information or what we need to do and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's very helpful. We are here in these fairs to support communities with counseling. We are also handing over some basic core relief items such as kitchen sets, um, but also sleeping mats, sometimes solar lanterns, um, but also hygiene uh, kits and food hampers. So we do a lot of different activities as UNHCR here in Trinidad and Tobago. The, what is happening with this whole faith thing is really bringing unity. You know, a lot of unity in the, in the, in the community of our migrants and refugees. They're going to be handing out hampers, they're going to be giving out different items to put smiles on people's faces. The UNHCR team, I've seen them help a, lot, a ton of people. And, uh, you know, seeing them walking away with the hampers and smiling, I mean, what, 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 what more are we looking for? This is joy, you know what I'm saying? So. You can see there's presence of all different entities, whether it's the United Nations, IOM and UNHCR are here, but you also saw the Ministry of Health earlier pull in, so it's an example of how the government is also present here. We have local organizations like the Red Cross, um, of course different faith-based organizations as well. It, it just demonstrates how when communities work together, the host community, the refugees, the aid community, the government, when we work together we're able to achieve great things like this, where we're able to offer services but also really important 
important information. El, te, el, el tener éxito, a, alguien dijo, es mejor fracasar intentándolo que dejar, dejar de intentar por temor a fracasar. Por eso no podemos eh, quedarnos callados, tenemos que seguir apoyando, tenemos que seguir eh, enviando personas para que puedan tener un respiro, como decimos nosotros, y para que puedan tener en que sea una cobertura, a pesar de que no hemos visto eh, una luz al, al final del, del túnel. What is, what is needed most right now is, is, is opportunity, you know, embrace us, embrace us. We have a lot to, to, to bring to the table. If you embrace us, you will, you will get to know us and you will get to see that we have potentials that can help grow this country. So embrace us, that's what is needed the most, embrace us.